This program brought to you by SeaDance.com. Hello, Dance Channel TV, and welcome to a very special featured artist. I'm Stuart Brazel, and I'm here with the incredible Sarah Lane. She's a soloist with the American Ballet Theater. You also know her as Natalie Portman's double in Black Swan. And today, we're going to get to know you a little bit better. How did you become a ballerina? How did you get involved in ballet? Um, I started ballet when I was four, and um, my mom took me to um, a community center that offered classes, 10 classes for a dollar. And um, yeah, so it was, you know, I started off really small and um, I just loved it so much. I didn't like the tap and jazz, so um, I loved the classical ballet. So um, we ended up going to a you know strictly classical ballet school, and on from there. I was born in San Francisco, um, but I, I moved when I was like a year old. So um, and uh, I started ballet in Memphis, Tennessee. All of my life when I was growing up, I didn't want to do anything else. Just got so into it and I never wanted to leave. Um, I could spend hours in the studios. I just loved uh, the process of, of perfecting the art. I was, you know, lucky to have really great teachers along the way. I went to high school um, a, for a couple years and it got to be a lot with the amount of time I was devoting to ballet um, because I, I was dancing from 4 in the afternoon after school until um, 9.30 at night and then I would go home and I would do my homework. So I was homeschooled um, for, for the last few years of high school and, um, and that really helped me to concentrate on what I was doing. I did a few competitions, um, the Jackson International Ballet Competition and um, the Youth, Youth America Grand Prix, and, um, and I auditioned for Pennsylvania Ballet, Boston Ballet, and American Ballet Theater. And what is life like as a soloist for American Ballet Theater? What's your day-to-day? -day? Um, basically, uh, I just get up in the morning. Um, you know, I do the crazy New York commute to work. Um, I live in Jersey City, actually, um, so I have to take um, the, path. the path across the, the river there. But, and then I, I spend from uh, 10 in the morning until 7 o'clock at night rehearsing and um, cross-training and, you know, learning new choreographies and everything. And, um, and then I go back home. Um, those are on rehearsal days and then performance days. I'm there from 10 in the morning until when the show goes down at 11 at night. You know, we rehearse all day and then we perform.
Now, how did you get involved with Black Swan? Um, the the choreographer Benjamin Melpier, he um, uh, introduced me to the director. Um, that was after um, a costume lady saw me in the hallway um, around ABT, and she she took my photo and she was like, "Oh, I like what you're wearing. You know, may, may use that style or something like that." Um, and she probably showed my photo to the producer, or the director, and he asked Benjamin to introduce me. And um, so after that, uh, I went into a studio and um, did some choreographer choreography side by side with Natalie, and um, and Darren, the director, watched us together and um, thought we were very um, comparable, um, you know, um, height wise and proportionally. I really loved working with him, actually. I think he's a really great director. Um, he has a really unique vision, um, and he's very artistic with his films, um, which I, I really like. And, you know, he always tells you what he wants. You know, he's demanding, but he's also encouraging and understanding and down-to-earth. And, um, I mean, the whole experience for me was... Um, you know, it was a learning experience. It was positive for the most part, um, except that the hours were just agonizing. And, you know, it's different if you're just acting, but if you're trying to get your body to actually function um, like we need to as professional athletes at, like, you know, 4 o'clock in the morning or, you know, um, doing overnight shoots, it's tiresome. You know, nobody can really understand how demanding um, ballet is physically because... To make it look easy, um, it's actually really, really difficult. So what we're doing is putting hours and hours of work into perfecting, um, you know, our steps and our technique and our, our artistry, so that to the normal person it looks like nothing. So people think we're just, you know, running around doing a little tutu and, and ballet is ballet, and they don't appreciate it as much because we make it look easy. Looking back and having experience that you had and deciding to talk about, you know, what happened, would you do Black Swan again? Yeah, I would. Um, it was it was really fun to see how everything works behind the scenes, you know, in a movie. And what made you decide that you wanted to let people know your story? Um, you know, I anytime um, a reporter or, um, you know, anyone wanted to do an interview with me or ask me questions about uh, my involvement, I was always open to that, and, and I, I did that even from, you know, the beginning. And um, it's just that after the Oscars, um, people, you know, more the, of the mainstream media really started to catch on to the fact. It was only two months ago that Natalie Portman won the Oscar as Best Actress for her role as a ballerina in Black Swan. At the time, it seemed amazing that she could dance so well. Well, now ballerina Sarah Lane has come forward to say mm, a little too amazing. Sarah claims that she did most of the dancing in the crucial sequences. One of the most prestigious companies in the world. She was asked to do the most intricate ballet moves in Black Swan. Yeah, this is all me. You can actually see my face sometimes. Full body shots with actual dancing um, is me. So yeah, I, I didn't just come out all of a sudden. Um, but the media just kind of came to me. So what has life been like after Black Swan for you? Um, it's the same as it's always been my whole life, you know, really. Um, I mean, yeah, people talk to me more about the movie, and, it, you know, I do get a lot of questions about Black Swan, Black Swan, and, you know. And um, so that gets a little old. But, um, I mean, for the most part, um, you know, I, I just do what I do, um, and, and I try to... Um, you know, it's all a work in progress. So what are your hardest criticisms on yourself as a dancer? Do you want, what, what do you want um, to improve upon? Yeah, I think just artistically, mainly, you know, like when, when you go on stage or when you do um, more of a dramatic role, um, to be able to interpret a character and also to um, have a quality of movement that is... Um, uh, more mature, you know, uh, and more uh, fluid and natural without, um, you know, having any sort of rigid uh, feeling and, um, you know, you don't want to make it look like you're holding your breath. You want to just really learn how to be who you are through what you're doing and not 
try to be anything more. You know? Do you get nervous before you perform? Um, I always do, yeah. I always get really nervous, no matter what. Especially if it's if it's a hard piece that, you know, takes a lot of stamina. I get more nervous just because I'm like, oh, this is going to hurt. But, <laughs> you know, or am I going to get through? not yet danced. What are you dying to dance? Uh, well, definitely Juliet um, with ABT. Um, I would love to do Juliet. The, the Macmillan version is so, so beautiful. And on a personal note, how is it dancing with your husband? Um, it's good. We just have to make sure that we're extra sensitive of each other, that we don't start fighting, you know, because um, I realized um, when I first started dancing with him, um, mainly for freelance work, that um, you know, you have to be even more sensitive um, with with your husband. He inspires me to, you know, be disciplined and everything. So, Sarah, thank you so much for sitting down and chatting. It was such a wonderful experience. I can't wait to see you dance Flex One tonight, and I wish you all the best.